What's up crew? Welcome back to Libertalia Game Supply. Today we're taking a look at Burning Abyss Goblin Rider Phantom Knight. I know it sounds ridiculous, but it actually works pretty well. This is pretty much just a deck of like 30 extenders and then some other stuff too. I think the Goblin Riders do a lot to fix the issue with Burning Abyss being that it doesn't really combo so much as it just interacts on your opponent's turn. So it's just waiting for your opponent to play into it. With the Goblin Riders, you can actually set up a pretty nasty board. So I'll show you a combo here in a moment. That is, Tour Guide plus any Burning Abyss monster can set you up with six interruptions. And that's got to be one of the better boards that Burning Abyss has ever been able to make in the history of its existence. And so I'm pretty excited to show you guys. It's been really fun playing around with this. This idea came to me from a comment that was posted on a previous Burning Abyss deck profile that I had uploaded maybe like a month ago now. So this comment here was the inspiration for it. Circled back to it, tested it out a little bit, and this is what we got. I will note, this is just a preliminary version of the list. I'm probably going to clean it up a little bit, trim a little bit of the fat, and then maybe we'll do a more in-depth profile of it later. But for the most part, a lot of this stuff's been around for a while. The Goblin Riders are fairly straightforward, and so hopefully you guys pick up on it pretty quick. All right, so as promised, two-card combo. Tour Guide plus any Burning Abyss monster. We're going to get you six interrupts. So we're going to start with that Tour Guide. We're going to summon the Meanda. Meanda is the Fiend Goblin Rider, and it's going to get summoned three times over the course of this whole combo here. We're going to overlay for Gabonga. Gabonga on summon is going to give us a search. That search is going to be for Doug the Assaulter. Doug is going to be a free special summon by detaching a material. It doesn't matter what you detach because we're going to detach them both anyway, but I want the Meanda in the graveyard. We do not want to use the Gabonga effect. It'll just take a face-up monster on the field and attach itself as material. That's going to be one of our interrupts, but it's going to ask us multiple times and we'll ignore it every time. We do, however, want the Doug effect though. So we're going to use that Doug effect to search Grand Arrival of the Goblin Riders. It is a search and special summon, so we'll use both here. Clutter the Noisy is our monster reborn when it gets summoned, so we'll search it and then we'll detach this extra material in order to summon Clutter. On summon, Clutter will get that effect to special summon a Goblin Rider from the graveyard, so we'll get our Meanda, and now we got three extra bodies on board. We're going to make a Cherubini. It doesn't matter which two you use because they're all going to end up in the graveyard by the time you need them. Cherubini is going to use its effect to Foolish Burial, a Graph, target itself, doesn't matter, it won't be hanging out for very long. Graph is going to special summon a Seer. Seer will go to the zone that Cherubini is pointing to so it doesn't kill itself. And then we're going to make a Dante. Dante will use the Seer and the Doug. Uh, we're going to mill three. We're going to ignore the mills here because they're random clearly, but this is an unsorted deck. We did have the graph that we sent to the graveyard though, so that is what we're going to use for the Seer. So Seer Effect will summon that graph that we used earlier, so we do have that as a guarantee. And we can also use our Meanda to detach this extra material off of Dante to get an another body on board. And right here we're going to go into this Beatrice, so we have that extra BA. This is why we needed it to be a BA, is to set up that Beatrice uh, interruption on our opponent's turn, that quick effect dump of uh, you know a selection of effects there. Right here we're going to go into our Rusty Bardish. It needs to be Cherubini plus Graph. If you use the other one, Graph will no longer be with us. We'll then use Rusty Bardish's effect in order to send an Ancient Cloak and grab a Phantom Blade or a Fog Blade. We'll use the Ancient Cloak, banish itself to grab a Silent Boots, put it in our hand. We will then special summon our Silent Boots. Boots and Meanda can then turn into an IP, and then Boots can banish itself in order to get a second copy of Fog Blade here. So we'll go ahead and set that Fog Blade too, and now when you pass turn, IP can link with uh, probably Rusty Bardish in order to make the SP, which is two interrupts right there. The Beatrice will be three. We can send the Farfa for the temporary banish. We can send the Alish for the effect negation. Uh, if you milled those or drew those, I guess, this would not be the play to make, so play around that. The Gabonga will also attach a Goblin Rider from your deck to itself as material. I would recommend Boon because then when you detach it in order to activate whatever other effect, it can quick effect special summon itself from the graveyard, so really nice extender there. It just doesn't have a secondary effect. But when something is detached, this will get that steel effect, and we have the two fog blades in the back row. So there's your six interrupts off of two cards. MBA is back, baby. Thanks for checking this one out. Hopefully you guys' sneak peek goes great. I hope you pull everything you're looking for. Happy deck building. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Goodbye.